Next, we'll make the little glass piece that goes between the light bulb and the outside of the flashlight. Um, so we'll make a cylinder starting in the top viewport from the center working out. And uh, you don't want to go all the way to the outside. You want to get close to the edge but still be on the inside. So I'll let go there and then I'll move up. And if you look in the right, uh, the top right corner there in the front viewport, we'll get the height of the glass. Right there is about good, so I'll click. And now we just need to position it. So I'm going to go to my selection tool, right click on the front viewport, raise this up. And by default, it chooses a solid color at random here. And um, what you'll want to do is make this clear. So go ahead and go to your material editor here, or you can hit M on your keyboard. And then um, choose one of these blank materials. And uh, go ahead and assign it to the object by clicking on this one. We got to make sure that your object is selected, and then you can assign it like this. Um, okay, for glass, uh, we're going to go ahead and make a dark diffuse and a light ambient. So go ahead and unlink these by just clicking on this button here. And if it's uh, like this, you need to expand it. So then to change the diffuse, go ahead and click on it. You want to make sure this is nice and dark. Hit OK. For the ambient, you want to make sure this is nice and light. Hit OK. Um, Self-illumination should be off. Go into Shader Basic Parameters and choose Two-Sided. And then Blend will work fine or Metal will work fine. And um, opacity should be 100%. Your glossiness can come up. That can be 90 to 100 somewhere. Um, go into Maps. And make sure that these are all unchecked except for Refraction. And then off to the right, click on None. And uh, depending on where your um, menu is, it may be here or here. Uh, what you'll want to do is you're looking for ray trace. So go ahead and choose ray trace, double click it, and uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and render this. I'll choose uh, or I'll hold shift and uh, hit Q to render it, and it's clear. So that's good. It doesn't show up clear in the viewport, but that's okay because it'll render uh, as clear. Um, next, let's go ahead and make our light bulb self illuminant. So go ahead and click on the light bulb and uh, choose one of these other materials and assign it. And then um, I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay. Um, now click on self illuminant and then color. Uh, Self-illumination, then color, make it uh, white. Make sure your opacity is 100%. Or actually, we can bring our opacity down some, that's okay. No, it's not a really a big deal. However you want to do the opacity is fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and um, exit out of this material editor. And let's take a look at what we've got. See, that's nice and bright. That's good. And now we want that beam of light that comes out. Now, how do we create that? Well, let's start by putting um, a lamp in our scene. So um, I'm going to zoom out some. I clicked on it, and then uh, using the scroller on the mouse, I'm zooming out. And uh, I'm going to choose Lights here. It's under the Create menu. And then you come over here to Lights and choose Target Spot and then create a light by clicking and dragging in the scene. Now if I render this holding a shift Q, you'll notice there's no beam coming down. Even if I go to perspective view, there's no beam. Now um, if I go to rendering 
and then environment, I can add what they call volume light to an object. So if you're not seeing that here, the way you can do it is uh, when you open environment, it's under rendering, environment, over here under environment choose add and then choose volume light, hit OK. And then there's parameters underneath it for volume light. So you can choose pick light and then you can come select your new light by clicking on it. And uh, notice if I render this in the front viewport, you don't see the beam, but if I render it in the uh, perspective viewport, you see a beam of light. That's what we want. Now notice how heavy this is. We can change that under our light parameters. If we exit out of here, and we go over here to um, our light, we can click on it and choose Modify in our Modify menu. We come down here, we've got under Intensity and Color. Uh, if you go in here, you can change Multiplier and get different results on uh, the brightness of that beam. Okay, next let's put a, a, a plane in our scene and uh, that would give it something to rest on. We'll give this flashlight something to rest on. So we'll come over here, choose plane. And what I've done is in the top viewport I've zoomed way out. So you can see my flashlight is very small. I've zoomed way out and then I'm going to put a great big plane here in the scene and um, I'm going to choose a lighter color for it. So you can go over here and choose like a teal or yellow or even a baby blue. Um, so I'll choose a color like this for it. And then um, go ahead and zoom back in. Zoom back in on my perspective. So, so far this is what we have. Okay. Um, next, I want to put a room light in here, or an Omni light. So let's go over here to our lights again. Choose Omni. And, uh, and I'm going to work in the front viewport. I'm going to zoom out some, and I'm just going to place an Omni over here somewhere. And that'll uh, kind of brighten up our scene a little bit. We can still keep it pretty dark uh, if we play with the intensity a little bit. And next, uh, we want to position our flashlight where it belongs. So um, we'll go ahead and select everything like this. Uh, you want to make sure, see how the plane is selected? You want to make sure the plane is not selected. So you can control click it, and that would make sure that it was not selected. If I move the flashlight, you can see that it's the only thing selected. And then um, I'm going to zoom in a little. I'm going to lay this down. I, I used rotate, rotated it around. It's pretty good. And um, next we need to position our beam so that it looks realistic. It should be coming from the light. So we can click, remember this is a target spot. So we've got a spot here that we can move and we've got a spot here that we can move. So we just need to make this look realistic. I'm going to place it right over our light bulb or right behind it, I should say. And uh, if I look in all the other viewports, I'm going to hit F3. I want to make sure that it's in the right place. So in the left viewport, it seems to be in the right spot. In the top, it should be behind it. In the front, it's behind it also. It seems to be just fine. And then this is where the light ends up, where the target light is. So I'm just trying to keep it straight, so it's as if it's coming straight out of this flashlight. So I'm going to go ahead and render this, shift Q, 
Q. Looks pretty good. The beam's coming out a little early, so let's go ahead and readjust this. Zoom in. Click on the little light here. Bring this out, and you can see where I had it before. You can see the beams here and here, and that was what was causing our problem. We want to make sure it's coming out from here and here. Let's see how that looks. That looks real good, real good. Um, another thing we might do is add some shadows. So uh, if we click with the light still selected, if we go over here to our uh, modify, we can turn our shadows on. General shadows on. And we should do the same to our other light. So I'm going to zoom out, click on our other light, turn the shadows on see how that looks okay we lost our light okay on this one we're gonna go ahead and um, take the shadows off see how that looks okay so that's fine we've got a little light here a little bit of shadows here and um, it doesn't really look realistic to me so um, I'm thinking maybe we should move the position of this light That looks better to me. So now, um, if we wanted to, we could assign a material map to our uh, plane. But I think this looks fine. Let's see. I kind of want to showcase this a little, make sure it gets in there. Not seeing our bulb. See the bulb there. That looks good. You can see part of the bulb there and it um, shines out. That looks nice. Um, we could probably stand to brighten up our room light a little bit. So let's go out and brighten that up. Do that by clicking on it and uh, under the intensity here, just bring our multiplier up just a little bit. You don't want it to be so dark that it drowns out the details. That looks pretty good. So, um, you can go ahead and render that out. If you go into render, choose render. You can choose single because this is just a single frame render. Make sure that your perspective view is selected. We'll go with a high quality here, 800 by 600. Click Render. We can save this as a file too. If you want to render output as a file, you can click here under Render Output Files. And uh, we'll send it to the desktop. We'll call it Final Light. We'll say JPEG, save, and this is where we can choose our quality, hit OK, and then render. And now it should be on the desktop. Yep, there's our render. So um, this is what you'll turn in. You'll turn in a render of your JPEG. Now if you didn't follow the uh, flashlight or you've you know uh, exactly if you didn't follow this tutorial exactly but you took ideas from it and created your own model that's great uh, but just as far as the rendering side this is what you'll turn in it's just a still frame 
of a JPEG or bitmap or something like that. 